morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite, and today we're going to pour a really big stamp patio. I think it's about 15 yards. It's going to be really hot today. It's supposed to be in the mid-90s. Tomorrow, we have a chance to hit triple digits. It's going to be like 98, 99 degrees. They said we do have a chance. So that's not too fun, but we'll get through it. We'll get some work done and have fun in the process like we always do. All right, I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Scott. Morning. How's your Monday? Good. All right. Hi, how are you? How you doing today? All right. Good. All right, it is quarter to six, just pulling into the yard. Nobody's going to be here just quite yet. That's just fine with me. I just hope everybody shows today. Nobody's sick because the pour this morning, it's pretty big for a snap patio. And if we don't have all our guys, it's going to be a struggle. All right, I'm just loading up the stamps. I got three of them. I haven't used these in a while, and I didn't remember that the corners completely tore off one of them, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. These are really easy and fast stamps. You can cover a lot of square footage really fast. Wow, this one's about to tear off too. These stamps are getting really old and they're brittle, and they're starting to tear. Time for a new set. All right, Eric just texted me. I'm going to be 10 minutes late. Come on, man. Francisco's here. Eric just texted me. He's going to be late because he overslept. Oh, man. Yeah. Let us sleep. Right away on Monday. <laughs> We're done with that bucket of release. That can come off. And then we got we to gotta get these on there, too. Eric's here. But where's Marcellus? Did you oversleep again? Tell me the truth. Oh, I was oh come on. He beat Marcel and Daryl. I don't know where Marcel is. Daryl said he's almost here. Oh, Marcel texted me. He's five minutes late, but he's on the way. Problem is I gotta wait for those guys because they gotta come in my truck. Because the white truck, I didn't film it. I was just not happy Friday afternoon. But the white truck, we were on the job. It was late in the afternoon on Friday, just looking forward to going home. And the transmission just started puking out fluid. I think the transmission blew up. It wasn't a line or anything. It, can't, it was coming from inside the case of the transmission. So that truck is down. I had to have it towed to the shop and it's gonna be like a good two weeks to get it repaired. So we're gonna be using the Easy Money Mobile to tow the mesh trailer. And uh, that's just the way that it is, this stuff happens. It's probably going to be about $8,000 if it needs a whole new transmission. Eric, did you buy a compactor now too? Yeah. Man, I think I'm paying you too much money. Well, but I, I'm lowering your wages because I got to run over and get some release. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. All right, I got that 8 o'clock. So 16 yards of the Honey Buff, 6 bag, low shirt, air, microfiber, 5 inch slump, 25 minutes apart. And then give me, give me like a half an hour of hydration stabilizer come on where are these guys 640 already marcel's here and still no daryl he's been at the gas station in the bathroom for like 30 minutes well you guys could take off there's no reason you can't leave he told me like a half an hour ago he was in the gas station going to the bathroom he got cold ice for me yeah thanks man i love the cold I kind i don't like the warm kind why are you so late so you're in the bathroom for 25 minutes straight Wow, back at Riv Creek. Look at all these concrete trucks. Yes. Hi. Well, good morning. Morning. I just need two buckets of Autumn Brown Release. Two Autumn Brown Release. They got it out already for us. That was quick. Man, I don't have any room in here. All right, we just pulled up on the job. We were waiting for Daryl, then we went and got Release. All right, so this is what we're pouring. basically just a big rectangle essentially it's not gonna be real difficult it's just pretty good size but um on a normal day it would be easier it's just uh gonna be really warm today that's the that's the difficulty but i did put half hour of hydration stabilizer also known as retarder in the concrete so that'll make it a lot easier for us slow the concrete down just a little bit i hear eric pulling up so we can grab our tools off 
I'm gonna set some screed pins in here because it's too wide for a 20 foot or even and uh, get ready to get ready to go Good morning morning the same so mm -hmm. today's a big day yeah pouring and stamping all at once all at once Do I have stamp today? it's huh? really easy though I, I would but you proved it perfect I'm dressed for it yeah yeah all right I'm gonna get out of here all right have a good day here you go you got concrete on your shirt already yeah wow girls are here Larry came to Schmidt's yeah we didn't even have to so he took the sealer yeah oh we're not taping this you know oh no no it won't stick you just got to carefully flow it up to it put that long one here underneath that long two by four and then we need some plastic put some plastic on here so it doesn't get scratched up when the plywood moves around a little bit all right i'm gonna put some two screed pins one there one there and then from here we'll turn sideways and come out this way garbage truck my favorite all right i hear another truck hopefully it's a concrete truck and not another garbage truck 15 minutes late already problem is it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter so the more time we lose it's gonna come back to bite us later it's warm already it's warm and windy it's not ideal all right I threw some rebar on top of the mesh like eight by eight squares or whatever so make sure this patio never goes anywhere you know, wire mesh and rebar and fiber mesh in the concrete so this thing should be real strong we got it dialed in really good to the border all the way around too you're drinking a monster that's only going to get you from a zero to a one on a scale of one to ten with the energy you know what i'm saying yeah. <sighs> concrete's here all right concrete's here finally like 20 20 minutes yeah 20 minutes late driving right on the edge of the asphalt driveway come on morning sorry i'm late i got lost you got lost yeah i'm gonna give it a lick to make sure it's oh that's too stiff put in like six or seven gallons it's really stiff you guys ready yes sir <laughs> make sure you pull the wire what do you mean that's gonna be if i'm ready <laughs> when eric was born he slept in for like 10 minutes before he woke up <laughs> His mom was like, Eric, we can't have any concrete over the edge. Yeah. We got to be really careful. The release helps that it doesn't stick, but it still sticks somewhat. All right, here we go. Good. Just leave it there for now. Chop, chop, man! This concrete's gonna get hard! Come on, Eric, help puddle, do something, chop, chop. If we don't hurry up, we're gonna be in big, big, big trouble. We need to get one more here, and then we're gonna switch it up and come out this way. This stuff's crunchy already, man. You guys better hurry up. Hannah, you got boots? We're gonna have to get you some, because we need more help. Daryl's got colored concrete all over the driveway. And he's just running through with the buggy and dragging it all up and down the driveway. Is he keeping it wet? He's going to be pressure washing this thing. All right, first truck is empty. Things are going pretty good. Hopefully it's still really wet back here. Because if it's not, we'll be in trouble. It's nice and wet still. Everything's going really good. These colors here are going to be really nice. Just getting sick and tired of looking at gray stamp stamped concrete. Hey, tell her to put two more gallons.
Something tells me it's about time to jump off. 10, 15 minutes. I'll be ready to jump on. I'll have the guys just skate across it, mag it all out. I'll start coming right behind them with the stamps. It's big, but these stamps are uh, really fast. You can move right along with these. I wish I had one more. I have like two and three quarters right now. I wish I had four of them. Man, it must be really nice when we're when we're working really hard with the concrete and you just get to stand there and eat okie dokies. I've been doing this whole driveway. Clean up everything. Don't try to make yourself feel better by giving me some. I'm on a diet. Are you taking a break? Man, it's just leave me me and Francisco. Are you gonna share some of those with Eric? <laughs> Oh, Daryl was busy eating popcorn. Daryl was busy. See, now he's trying to give you some. See that? He's trying to give you some so you can partake in his break time. Five minutes, you guys got to get on because I'm going to come right behind you with stamps. I'm glad I put that retarder in there. I would just shovel it in for Annie. Hey, look at Eric. The first place he starts, look at Eric, right in the shade. Right in the shade. Look, Eric goes right for the little corner of the shade <laughs> where the concrete's the softest. I got this. Yeah. Hey, Eric said he'll finish that two foot all along there. <laughs> He's like, I got this area. How long does it take to get a couple wheelbarrows of concrete up here? It's been like 10 minutes. Concrete's just about ready to hop on. Guys are cleaning up the edges again. But yeah, we're good. We're good. That went pretty good, I have to say. The butterflies that were in my stomach are gone. Because I know I can fly with them stamps. And the concrete's just perfect right now. No, it's all stamped. The joints, the joints get cut tomorrow with a saw. Saw cut? Yes, saw cut. You know the terminology already. All right, so the color release we're using is called Autumn Brown. Autumn Brown. But it looks pretty weird when you put it out before you seal it. It kind of has a purplish tint like that. So I get a lot of customers that after we stamp it initially they say hey you used the wrong color our patio's all purple but it doesn't stay purple it turns brown right when the sealer hits it i already warned uh, these clients to expect a purple patio today stamps are ready to go i'm ready to go I'm feeling fresh. You guys are already more than halfway done finishing the slab. How long can you hold your breath? Yep, it's purple. Purple patio. And then when you seal it, it turns like super bright purple. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Barney. Remember Barney? I love Barney. Did you? When you were little? Or still? Tell me the truth. Teletubbies, yeah. yeah yes. You know what would make a great Teletubby? Like the leader of the Teletubbies? Daryl Jr. <laughs> yeah. Elmo, yeah, Elmo's cool. Sesame Street. I used to watch Mr. Rogers and Sesame Street every day. I'm gonna put one out there and just see what it feels like. I still think it's a touch wet, but it's close. It's ready. It's ready. I'm just gonna mix this one in every once in a while. All right, so I'll show you how we do these. First, you got to overlap like this, and then you flip them. As soon as Eric gets here with the stomper, I'll show you. Finally, man, we can't wait too too long though. Somebody's probably just have to go along at real 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 slow, because if you wait like another 20 minutes and then trowel into the other load, it's going to be a different color, and you're going to see that straight line right across there. It's really, really important actually. All right, so after you got two mats and you stamp them both, 
you have to put one under the next so you don't get lines in there. So you just go like this, put it back down, and then snap where that line would have been. Get that out of there. And then when you're using these stamps, you always give them a quarter turn every time. See that heavy texture, it's got those nice veins in it. It really has a lot of character. I really, really like this texture. This is my favorite texture. Just gonna keep working our way back and forth, just like that. It's Best Mom Monday, so my mom will be showing up any minute with lunch for the guys and myself and the girls. Do you remember this texture, Hannah, from somewhere? You've ridden your bikes on this texture, scooters, tricycle. The front sidewalk at the old house, the red one. Ask Autumn. What? Do you remember somewhere where we had this texture? At our old house. Yeah, the front walk. Front walk. The whole front walk. Autumn used to vlog when she was like, how old? Like 10. When you were 10, 9 and 10? Don't go too far over into the into what's finished already, because it's getting pur it's purple in there already. Oh. Grandma's here. There's my Monday. Yep, that's my Monday. I don't need water. I still feel fresh air. Every row we hit it a little bit harder and 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 a little bit harder. Little bit harder. It's kind of nice. These are old and the edges are rolled yeah. up, so they don't leave any lines. And they're like curled perfectly. I can't stop, man. This stuff's. Yeah, not today. Not today. <laughs> not today. Mom, you want to do this for me at all? No, thank you. Come on. <laughs> it's so easy. It's not. It's right on top of that one. They're both right on top of each other. Come on. Hey. I know you saw it. You were just trying to get a little break. Why are you making excuses for your finish, Eric? Just, just finish it nice, man. Mm. Mag, man. Oh, now it's the mag. Yeah, it's Eric's been finishing in the shade like for 45 minutes, mom. He just sits in the shade and acts like he's doing something. He's been in the same spot. And now he's making excuses like, oh, it's really not finishing good. I have to keep going over it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, Eric. It's getting hard. Hear that sound, Eric? There's been times I've had to hit it so hard it just echoes through the whole neighborhood. Right, Marcel? Yep, and break handles. Yeah, break handles off everything. Bumps, bumper. the bumper. I don't know if we made that up or heard it somewhere, but we've always said it was the bumper. bumper. Autumn, yeah. counting. Yeah. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. It's like seven and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh row. Seven, eight. 7.5 times 10.5 times 30. 2,362 and a half bumps. That's more than I would have, than I would have guessed. It's got to be good for a couple pounds, a couple thousand bumps. That's got to be a pound, a thousand, I would say. Are you the server? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she looks like she should be at uh, Miller Park. Hi, dogs. <laughs> Hi, dogs. Got the peanuts. Texture is really nice. I mentioned this on the other video, but if you didn't watch that one, uh, what I'm going to do, I got it all laid out because I cut the border already. I'm gonna cut this all up on a 45 degree angle, both directions, and I'm gonna make really small squares. They're gonna be like five by fives. So I'm gonna cut this all up. It's gonna look kind of like a diamond. People call it a diamond pattern. It's whatever, it's on a 45, whatever you wanna call it. <clears throat> so this will be all cut up and I really, I'm curious what these colors are gonna look like. It's gonna look really nice. So if you haven't followed along, this was a big, huge wood deck. Actually, I'll, I'll put a little clip right here of us ripping off the wood deck. It was a giant wood deck uh, all the way out to here where the dirt is. And then it also filled in that area where we got the pile of concrete there. Whole thing was deck. We ripped that all out.
We found dead animals under there, two dead raccoons, a uh, whole family of mice right up by the step. Interesting job, very expensive job to have this done, but he's gonna love this patio and it's gonna last a very, very, very long time. We're up into the shade now. Everything went really good, even though it's scorching hot. That little bit of retarder in the concrete just was perfect. I had a 30 minute retarder and then the water's too hot to touch coming out of the hose. That's when you know it's warm out. Why are you hitting it so hard? It's not that hard. I think you just want to exercise. So it's not going to hurt me at all if we take a half a day off here and there when it gets scorching hot. It's not really a big deal. I'm not gonna kill myself, I'm not gonna kill the guys. I can't wait to saw this thing, wash it and seal it. It is gonna look fantastic. I'll be here tomorrow to wash and cut it, so. All right, I'm gonna have some lunch. Let's go see what my mom brought. I'm paying for this, guys. This isn't something my mom's doing just, you know, to help us. I'm paying for everything and I'm paying her. I just thought it'd be nice for the guys. A little treat once a week. Salad! I'm gonna have some of that casserole too. It's delicious, thank you. Marcel, you're very dirty. Now, now you look like Barney. In my face? Too? All of you. I just washed up. You still look like Barney. Adios. Thank you. What are you guys doing? It's only ants, the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not ants. Yeah, I'm scared of the spiders. A spider? You're that scared of a spider? There's three of them. All right, that's a long enough break, man. That was like more than half an hour. Come on. Where's Daryl? Guys, come on, pick this stuff up. Let's go. Why didn't he have this picked up to begin with? Because he had to fix the rope on the power buggy. Remember? So he cut the rope so he could sit over there. Yes. More than likely. Daryl, you've been working on this for an hour and a half. I took a nap. At least you're honest. All right, well, you can get an Uber then. I'm going home. Do you really need help putting bolts in there, Daryl? What are you doing? Oh, come on. You guys should have set the timer so you can time how long this is, should take compared hey, to how long Daryl's been taking. Hey, Siri, set a timer. Didn't even take me three minutes. Put the bolts in. It's done. I see your phone is out. Were you watching YouTube videos how to do this? Yeah. All right, we're out of here for today. Be a lot of saw cutting tomorrow. I'm gonna put a lot of joints in that thing. The thing's never gonna crack. All right, I know the guy's gonna be real happy with this. He was really concerned about the water draining off the patio. So I put relatively heavy pitch from the door out to that corner. I mean, it's not overboard, but it has quite a bit of pitch just to make sure that he was totally satisfied with the water running off. And I want any pooling or anything with the stamping, you gotta be careful because it's easier to leave little dips in there. All right, we just finished the patio and had lunch. It's about 12.30 and we are done for the day. There's the huge patio. Can't wait to wash it and seal it, cut it. It's gonna look really good. But anyways, I'm sending the guys home. It's super hot out for us. It's mid 90s and uh, it doesn't really hurt once in a while to send the guys home early. I just really don't feel like going and starting something else in the middle of the day when it's this hot. It's gonna be unproductive, it's gonna be inefficient, and it's not really gonna be worth it, to be completely honest. And I'll probably do the same thing tomorrow. It's supposed to be near 100 degrees tomorrow, so we'll probably work another half a day. But anyways, this patio turned out real nice, and uh, all I gotta do is wash and cut it, seal it, and get paid. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Adios. 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 Adios, amigos. Adios. Adios. Oh, this kills me getting in with all this release on us and my freshly detailed oh, truck, God, man. Dirty. Oh. Uh, where did the girl drive in the uh, grass? Right here. She here? What is she doing? She's in the grass. Hey, hey, hold it. Wow, she was like 10 feet off the driveway. Oh my goodness. 
she was 10 feet off the driveway. The garbage man came. Nice, all empty. Hi. Hi. Hi there, how was your day? Very easy.